Well, that's just the most annoying thing ever. I've just rattled away for 10 minutes to find out the blinking Zoom wasn't recording. So, I'll start at the beginning. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Bridlington. <sighs> I figured that having been bitten to pieces by the midges last weekend at Higatol, I'd play it safe this weekend and come back to the coast. And it's gorgeous. There is not a breath of wind. There's no mist, there's no fog, there's no rain. There was a smidge of colour in the sky and I managed to rattle off a couple of shots whilst you were watching the um, little bit of B-roll that I've just put on. I just got a little bit of colour over the top of the marker post that I'm shooting. I shot that at f10, 1.3 seconds. No filters except my 0.6 grab. Uh, that gives me a little bit of motion in the water. Just enough so you know it's actually water. And then I banged the six stop on because I could and I thought I should. But now I am just shooting at three seconds and f20. I'm looking at square crop today and I've got one image to get and that's it. Just one image. The sea is the beautiful pastely aqua colour. It's got that oily look to it you get with the soft dawn light. In the far distance there's what looks like a spit of land coming out but thinking about it I believe it's just where the water depth changes so the colour of the water changes it's beautifully light and then there's a dark land it does look like there's a headland but I don't believe it is because if it is it goes all the way around there <laughs> there's some colour coming over this bit of headland and it is tempting to try a shot down the beach however there is a nice curve there's a little bit of dawn colour coming up above it because that's where the sun's coming in. But the beach is really messy. It is... You have the water coming in, then you have a small, really small slither of sand, and then there is a really mucky-looking curve of seaweed that's been washed up. And that really doesn't float my boat at all. But it's so peaceful, it's wonderful. Even the seagulls have decided to shut up. Oh, it's wonderful. Hmm. So it's just one image. When, when I've been here before, the, there's groins that lead out to the marker posts. And because we're at high tide at half past seven and it's now six o'clock, we're not gonna see the groins. So I am limited purely to the marker posts. So one image. Format. I haven't set the camera to square. I might have two images, one with some colour and one without. Um, yeah, I thought I'd be a rebel. I, I know that it will work as a square crop. There is a nice light band of cloud, and I think I'm going to keep these colour because we've sort of had a bit of blue hour, and I quite like morning blue hour. I'm not so keen on dusk blue hour, but I don't mind morning blue hour. Yes, like that. Nice and simple and zen-like. Need some calm in your life. Some chill time. It is grand. There's bits of colour threatening in the background. We will forecast high cloud, 100%, which is great. I can live with that. It's really trying to colour up over there. Hey-ho. I'm just going to soak in the atmosphere and see what appertains with that colour, which is still threatening to come through. Well, there you have it. 
the sunrise. And it's lovely to see people out here. There's somebody just about to go out in a canoe. But there's people sat by the beach huts just taking in the morning. And that was the sun coming up, and that's it disappearing behind the flipping banker cloud. Hey ho. There's some clearer sky coming up down there. So it might be turn, time to flip the camera around and shoot that away. But I've just done, I have now turned the camera into square format and I've positioned the marker post far right hand side and where the sun was coming up on the left hand side of the image. I don't know if it works because I did it as a slightly long exposure. It might not work, but it gives me lots of negative space around the marker, which I really like. Most of my compositions in square format are central compositions. This one, I propped it right over onto the right-hand side. There's actually some quite decent cloud coming up there. So I think I will wait for some people to move and then try shooting down that way. It's wonderful here. Well, this Zoom machine has got it in for me today. That's twice I've managed to rattle away and not actually be recording. We'll try again. So, I have moved slightly further down the beach, away from Brid. The sun is desperately trying to break through that horrific bank of cloud. And because I am now pointing away from the sun, the red of the groin, everything's about to get washed out, is actually popping quite nicely. In an attempt to do something, <coughs> excuse me, slightly different, I've been seeing some images where the subject is a slice of orange, strange thing to see, is absolutely on the bottom, sort of the bottom, I'm not even going to say a quarter, probably the a bottom eighth of the image, and the sky makes up the bulk of the image. Very minimal, suitable for conditions like this where we've got soft pastel colours. So I thought I'd have a try at that. Because the say is, the sun is just point blank. Oh, bright sky. Bright sky in the eyes. Refusing to break through. But it is, there is a little bit of light. Yeah, I quite like that. That really is minimal. You, you, I usually put negative space all around a subject if I'm shooting centrally. Sorry, I'm just keeping an eye on my bag. But on this one, the negative space is all at the top. Still square format. Yeah, I quite like that. Sort of bluish tones. I have got my, I, my white balance set slightly lower than normal. I'm down at 55, 60, I think it was. Yeah, that sort of kind of works, I think. Oh, I'm going to have to move in a minute. <laughs> My bag's in danger of getting washed away. Yeah. The only difference I've got now, I've got the six stop on, but I've got a 0.3 grad because there's a bright band in the sky, which is just, just begins to blow when I'm doing a 15 second exposure. Pop this 0.3 grad on and it's working wonderfully. hoping that Zoomy is going to behave itself. I remember saying a little while ago that I might try and show you how I do um, ICMs. I just need to reset the oh, the thing of me. Oh, I can keep it as a square crop. Yeah, let's keep it as a square crop. It's not as good as the sunset ones because there is no sky colour, but I am at f14, a fifth of a second. I have got ISO 100, I'm on white balance 5880, which is basically daylight. I'm at 35 mil and I've taken the shutter delay off. Let me make sure I've taken the shutter delay off. I'm sure I have. Exposure, yes. And all I'm going to do, I've kind of focus. 
to infinity. Yeah, we're focused at infinity. And I'm just gonna... Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's really difficult to show you because if I, if I point you where I'm shooting, you're gonna be blinded, you'll not be able to see me. So it's literally just a case of start where you think you wanna be. Let's say a fifth of a second, haven't got long. Click and move the shutter. Click and move the shutter. Not click and move the shutter, you dozy woman. Click and move the camera. Click and move the camera. And the results can be quite surprising. As I say, not quite as good as when I've got sunset. And I'm sure those who do ICM all the time are going to be going, my God, what is she doing? But yeah, you get just a little bit of movement. And what I really want to do is do the image area. That's it. Just a second. I want to go back to... I think it's that one. Yeah. Yeah, let's have a look. That's better. Yes, that's more like it. Although I quite like the square crops. And you can do it pretty much any way you want. What I'm aiming for here is to get a little bit of sand and then the water. I just tried one with the water and that doesn't work at all. Just the water on its own. Although, I said that, actually it kind of does. Let me just try this one with me. You mark a post about there. Yeah. Yeah, the marker post is pink, but I've got some nice diagonal lines showing in the water. Very, very minimal. Let me pull that out. Oh, my lens was going to fall off there. Yeah, it, it's great if you can keep it straight. Which I'm not very good at doing, keeping it straight and level. Yeah, and it's just a case of faffing. So as I say, base settings have got F14, a fifth of a second, ISO 100, and as you press the shutter, move the camera. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But you can get some quite interesting abstract type images. It's going to try it over there because we've got a bit of land but I'm going to have to shorten the shutter speed, which means I'm going to have to up the f-stop. No, that really didn't work. Uh, yeah, don't dislike it. I don't love it, but I don't dislike it. F22 and a fifth of a second. It's a weird thing. Oh, I say, people swimming. But just have a play with it. And I know some people do a twist. Oh no, <laughs> I forgot to twist and press at the same time. Actually, that was totally unintentional, but it actually worked. I've got a, a lump of seaweed in the bottom, which is blurred, and then I've got a circle. And I bet you I can't recreate it. Very strange. So yes, get your camera, get it on manual, go to a place, be the coast or a woodland. I think coast's quite nice. Have a play, see what you think. And that's it. Oh look, somebody out in a powerboat, don't know if you'll make that out. But he's having fun this morning. Right, yes, that's it. What was I doing? What was I saying? Have a great week, guys and gals. Thank you for coming along. And um, I'll catch you next Sunday. I don't know what we're doing next Sunday. I might go out into the peaks again and get bitten to pieces again. Oh, there crows. Right, yes, have a great week. Thanks for coming along. See you soon. Toodaloo.